Peggy 3. Hi and welcome to the next Formula 1 2010 Dev Diary. It's about making the most um, authentic experience possible and it's also about um, making the car handling predictable and consistent. I think there's huge interest in terms of the balance that we have for arcade or simulation handling and personally my preference has always been to go down the simulation path. You can make a, a realistic sim easier to play for somebody but it's very very difficult to take an arcade handling system and make that appeal to the people that prefer the simulation handling. Yeah well I'm the, uh, the Braun uh, test and reserve driver from 2009. Part of that job is developing the simulator as well We've had access to the teams, to the engineers, to the drivers. So what I do is, is try and bounce my level of expectation off Ant, who um, gives us a lot of feedback week by week. The onboard footage when you see on TV, they always look incredibly easy to drive. When you're inside the cars, they're so much more twitchy and nervous. That's one thing that's incredibly hard to get right unless you've got someone that's actually driven these cars, especially in the slow speed corners where you have no downforce. As soon as you get them up to high speed, they, they work in a completely different range. We do want a very simulation experience. You've got the inclusion of aero, which changes the handling of the car completely. We're tailing the car handling to a very different market, to that dirt too and grid, you know, they're very different cars, very different handling. It's not just about lapping the circuit, it's about being able to be consistent. The fans of F1 are very passionate and very nice and we want to feed them the most authentic experience. And I, I think it's very important not to blunt the experience of driving a Formula 1 car, but when you start applying the driving aids, to kind of make it accessible without losing the fun parts. You want to make it to the point where it's just playable um, to enjoy, but also to be reasonably difficult as well. You can find that point where it's exciting, you're consistent, it's about feeling as though you're that hero driver. We've got the real world numbers, we want the players to experience everything that the driver experiences. Um, from the real car to, to the computer game, it's, it's very realistic. Handling is key in Formula 1.